As countless Afghans attempt to flee from the Taliban, refugee and immigration agencies in New England say the crisis in Afghanistan is too chaotic to anticipate what the evacuation process will look like. This is unprecedented, right? I mean, the U.S. Refugee Admissions Program, which we've been an implementing partner of for decades, has rules. It has regulations. It follows a course. The International Institute of New England supports the resettlement of two types of individuals. Refugees. A person who has fled his or her home country into a neighboring country due to uh, persecution. And special interest visa holders from Iraq or Afghanistan. These are people who had some affiliation with the U.S. government or, mili or military in those countries. As events have unfolded, their offices have been inundated with inquiries from Afghans who relocated weeks, if not years, in advance. These are people, you know, on the phone with us in this moment, sending emails in this moment, showing up at our offices saying, how do I get my mother out, my brother out? Um, here's where they are in real time as they flee from one city to another in Afghanistan. Over the last month, IINE has relocated five individuals from Afghanistan to New England, none so far in New Hampshire. We know that the situation is changing so rapidly. We are prepared to welcome um, any Afghan families who are sent our way and in need of support, and we don't know how many that will be. And, of course, we've seen these images, just hundreds of Afghans or people, rather, huddled into U.S. government planes. The IINE says it is preparing to process and place any individuals it's asked to. But as of yet, they've had no contact with U.S. officials regarding the current evacuees.